Now, there's one more thing, and this is the politics of Washington, D.C., and I'm going to get a little wonky here, and then I'll <laughs> open it up to whatever questions you want to ask me. This whole monstrosity is being done as a budget reconciliation because the liberal Democrats do not have enough votes to get it through the Senate on a 60-vote majority. Mm. That's a 50-50 split in the Senate right now, so they need all 50 senators to come along on board, and there's two of them that are dragging their feet. We need to encourage those two senators to hold the line. Mm. And then in the House of Representatives, nobody will tell you this, but did you know that Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker, has only a three-vote majority in the House right now? Mm. I didn't realize there, that. <laughs> there are only three more Democrat votes than there are Republican votes. So if she loses three people, she's done. She can't move a bill. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and, I've, and, and I've identified eight people that are Democrats that are sympathetic to our message. Two of the eight I considered myself to have a good working relationship with their offices. Vincente Gonzalez, who I already mentioned earlier, who is a friend of real estate investors. Mm -hmm. Congressman Gonzalez, Democrat, Texas. He is a friend of real estate investors. He has introduced multiple pieces of legislation on that. And his neighboring district friend, Henry Cuellar, has co-sponsored every one of those bills. Now, I'm going to mm -hmm. give you some. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be straight up. MoveOn.org, I don't care what your politics are, but MoveOn.org has already circulated emails saying, we don't like Henry Cuellar. He is not a true Democrat. We're going to run against him in the primary. We want to knock him out. And I got to tell you, Henry is a amazingly decent human being in addition to being the most highly educated, most degreed member of Congress. OK, wow. the man holds a, the man holds a law degree. The man holds a Ph.D. degree. The man has got a degree in economics. He is. And the, here's why they hate him. Here's why they hate him. <laughs> he loves God and he's pro-life. Wow. That's why they hate him. OK, so those are some of the people that we're going to saying, please Oppose this bill until they take this stuff out. I think the bill's a bad idea. I think it's a tr terrible train wreck of an idea to try and cram mm -hmm. through $3.5 trillion more of spending when you have no idea how to pay for it. I mean, I'm going to flat out tell you, folks, if this thing goes through, buy every piece of real estate you can get your hands on. If you can't get your hands on it, get an option on it. When would this bill come into effect? Some of it will be effective upon enactment. That means when President Biden signs it, it will become mm -hmm. effective. The IRA stuff will get phased in either when it gets signed or at the end of the year or in two years, depending on what we're talking about here. But literally, I've shut down a deal that I was getting ready to do. I talked about it last week, Wendy, when we were in Richmond. The right. deal I'm going to be doing for my granddaughter, I mm -hmm. can't do it because of this pending bill. Wow. Wow. That's my little, scary. my little, my little five week old granddaughter can't have a deal where she can buy a house as part of an LLC with her CISA account because of this bill. It's, That's crazy. It's, now the eight killing. people that you were talking about, uh, if I remember on your Facebook page this morning, you said there was a link you could go to, to get specifically to those eight people. And I shared that with you in the thing I mailed over to your team. Okay, great. I, That's my, my assistant Debbie spent a day, double checking names, addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers, emails, and we've got it all in there. And it's up to date within the last 24 hours. I've shared it with you so you can share it with everybody you possibly can and how you can contact them by email and by fax and by phone. And folks, I'm going to tell you right now, don't try snail mail. It's woeful. <laughs> email. That fax awesome. and phone, email, fax and phone. And everything has got to be, you got to pull these sections out of this, this horrible reconciliation bill. The easiest way to get started is to go on the link that's on the screen right now regarding voter voice. That will let you from the comfort of your home in three minutes or so dial in bang. You can contact your elected representative and your two U S senators. I've preloaded the text. We're good to go.